autonomous steering test along with autonomous uh, test driving in the in the campus as you can see uh, so the purpose autonomous steering test along with autonomous uh, test driving in the in the campus as you can see uh, so the purpose of this test are twofold uh, one is that we want to ensure that the vehicle can uh, navigate autonomously in the campus and the second is that the steering controller as you can see we have installed the steering uh, uh, we have installed a stepper motor in this vehicle to control the steering of the vehicle and this gives a global position of a steering so our next target is to do autonomous tests on an Indian highway, where our speed of the vehicle would be 40-50 km per hour. And during that, at, at, at such a high speed, we want to ensure the, that the steering controller can keep up with the speed of the vehicle. So currently what happens is that our steering controller, due to the uh, manual retrofitting, the stepper motor has a, has a maximum torque of 85 kg centimeter. And that's not a lot of torque to actually move, this, uh, uh, move this, uh, the, uh, the steering of the vehicle. So we have to reduce the speed of the motor to ensure that it can control the steering very smoothly. Now, in order to do that, uh, we, uh, we have to sort of calibrate this vehicle according to different speeds of the vehicle. So that's the second purpose of this test run. We want to ensure that what curve can be captured by this vehicle at what speed. So if you feel that the speed of the vehicle needs to be increased at a particular segment of the road, then we will sort of like adjust the speed of the vehicle. We will have a different function just to control the steering, uh, the steering of the of, of this vehicle to keep up with different speeds at, at different turns that may occur on the highway in which we are going to launch the test of vehicle next.